Hey there friends and thanks for joining me again and um, welcome to another edition of Quick Tip Tuesday and today I want to share with you my cheap and easy way to make four thieves spray. Basically as the legend has it there was these four thieves who would go around um, in the Middle Ages during the time when the bubonic plague was raging and many many people were dying and so people were you know staying away from the people who were dead in hopes not to get the plague themselves. Well it was said that these four thieves would rub their bodies with this um, blend of herbs and then they would uh, also eat some of them and then they would go and have contact with those dead people and steal from them and then they wouldn't actually get sick. So it was said that these herbs had some kind of special immune boosting properties and also um, the ability to maybe kill the germs even though they didn't know that that's what they were back then that actually helped keep them from getting sick. Well now we have science of course which can confirm that these types of herbs actually do have immune boosting properties and can kill germs. So now there's these essential oil blends that have the same exact properties to help boost those immune systems and um, help keep us from getting sick as well. So even though we don't have to use it to go stealing from dead people, we can make it ourselves and then keep from getting say the cold or the flu during this upcoming cold and flu season. So my recipe for DIY thieves spray is extremely, extremely simple. Sorry if this looks backwards on camera. But basically it starts with an amber glass spray bottle. And I get my spray bottle basically for free in that I use this Garden of Life Vegan D3 spray. I highly recommend um, supplementing D3 anyway because a lot of people don't get enough of it. And this is a really easy way to do it. And so I buy this anyway, I'm going to use it, and then instead of um, throwing away the bottle when I'm done with it, I just save it, wash it out, and then I use it for my thief spray. If you don't have this you know, type of D3, or if that's not what you prefer to use, or whatever the case may be, of course you can buy you know, either an amber dark glass bottle or a blue one in a spray bottle. They're not very expensive. I'm pretty sure on Amazon they're somewhere around 6 bucks and stuff like that. But this is how I save myself the six dollars from having to buy it just by simply saving the bottle. So the first thing you're going to want to do with your bottle is just open it up and then stick a little funnel on top of here and then you're going to add 15 drops of the essential oil blend. This is the main portion of it that's going to help boost the immune system of course and kill the germs. So you can use any you know version you like if you know someone who does doTERRA or whatever else you know other uh, essential oil blends that you prefer feel free to use those. I use this one from Eden Garden, Eden's Gardens, and uh, I found it to be fairly inexpensive when I bought it in their little you pick six pack or whatever. Um, Amazon also has another brand that I would have gotten if I wouldn't have gotten this for so inexpensive. Um, they have a Germ Fighter, which is a nice off brand, so again, that can be very inexpensive as well. And then once you buy it, you can refill this bottle using this recipe over and over and over again. And you can use this stuff on everything to help kill those germs. So anyway, open the bottle, put in 15 drops of the essential oil of your choice, the Four Thieves blend or the uh, germ fighter. And then next we're going to want to use an emulsifier because last we're going to use water and so we need something that's going to sort of force the oil and the water to mix. So you have two choices here. You can either use just one teaspoon of witch hazel of your choice or you can use one drop of soap. Soap is very good at forcing water and um, oil to mix, so, you know, they both work very well. So depending on whichever one you have on hand or whichever one you prefer, um, both will work just fine. And then you're going to want to fill up the rest of the bottle to about, you know, halfway from where the bottle curves up to the top with water. If you want to do this slowly to make sure you don't overfill the bottle, you could also just measure out four tablespoons of water. That also works. So then you make sure you mix it all together put it in here and then you're done. <laughs> it's super, super simple. Shake it up a little bit. You could spray it on yourself. You could spray it on your hands. I would highly recommend using this anytime that you're touching anything in public that other people are touching, banisters, railings, you know, pens at the bank, gym equipment, you know, basically you name it. Public restrooms if you're on a plane or a bus or something like that. Other places where there are a lot of people, these tend to be the places where we pick up germs and things like that, shopping carts, where we pick up the germs and then we end up getting sick. So we can spray these surfaces if they'll allow us to, or if you can just spray it on your hands and make sure that you don't end up with it also. So yeah, it works basically like a hand sanitizer or you can spray it on anything, you know, cutting boards and other things as well to help kill germs on those surfaces as well. 
So there you go, it's extremely simple and easy to make once you buy the essential oil and the other ingredients or ingredients most people already have on hand. And there you go, you just refill it and keep using it again throughout the whole cold and flu season and hopefully it can help keep you from getting sick. So thanks again for joining me for this Quick Tip Tuesday and we'll see you next time.